Hello, welcome to The Daily Crew, episode 43. Uh, this is a great show where we talk about pretty, pretty much nothing important important at all. And uh, joining me today is Amanda. Uh, we are without Tyler today. Uh, he'll be back in a couple of days. And I am Ben. So uh, to start things off, of course, I guess we can go ahead and get dive right into the, the slap heard around <laughs> the slap heard around the world. Heard around the celebrities, with, yeah. But uh, between the altercation at the Oscars between uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock, did you see that? Did you hear about that? I had to look it up, yeah, because my friend was like, "Hey, did you hear about this?" And I was like, "What? Like for <laughs> real? For real?" <laughs> and she was like, "Yeah." So I looked it up. Um, yeah. Yeah. I know I had to like do some digging because I was like, man, was it was this stage? Was this like a skit or anything? Because I didn't see it happen. I just heard about it. I was like, maybe this was one of those because they do that all the time where they have like planned skits or segments or something of the show that's meant to be funny and stuff like that. So like, I mean, I watched it. It looks real to me. It's super real. Like Chris Rock was shocked. Yeah. And he like, you could tell he didn't even know how to like continue right away after that. And right. He was like, well. Well, well, and <laughs> well. Then, like he made a little joke and then like was still like shook, like what yeah. the frig. Yeah, I could tell that he was really trying to keep it together. It was like, and part of, I just feel like he, when I watched him, it looks like he had more to say. Like he wanted to, like there was so much more of his stuff that he had to say, and he just skipped. He just went ahead and yeah. you know sped it up a little bit because he didn't know how to react. I think he handled it. Oh, Right, like he the, did. The, he being sure slapped, did. I think he. I mean, some people think it was really dangerous that he could have just went on and just roasted them even more after that, and just. Well, he um, didn't want to have a whole altercation. I know. I mean, I'm glad he didn't. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're talking about a stand-up comedian that does this. He makes a living out of running his mouth. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He so he held he held it together. Yeah, and then Pretty. both was like, "Keep my wife's name <laughs> out of here." M M and mouth, and yeah. I'm like, oh my god, is he <laughs> drunk? You know what right. I'm saying? Like, is he? I, yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like he was kind of drunk. Right. I don't know. I'm not taking sides, and I'm not taking sides in it because no. because yeah. I'm like, I, I the only thing I I know is is they both now have to live with the consequences. That Chris Rock's embarrassed that he got slapped on stage, for and sure. then Will Smith is embarrassed too for. He better be embarrassed. He's embarrassed too for having that kind of, you know, for doing that, you know. So it's like, and like if you watch the video, it looks, it appears uh, that Will Smith is laughing at the jokes. Yeah. But then I guess it ups, he could tell it upset his wife, Jada. Yeah. And so I think that's when he reacted, but he right. seemed like he was laughing at the jokes. Yes, yeah, because it's, it's, that's what they do at the Oscars. Every every post presenter, everyone has, they've always done this, where they always take little jabs here and there. Yeah, it's, he's a comedian. Yeah, they always take, you know, it's not meant to be taken serious. Right. Now, I granted there's a whole there was a whole lot more to it with Jada and her hair. Yeah. That what people realize and I feel it, like her hair's been like that forever. Though. Yeah. And like, yeah, yeah, she can come out and say she struggles with alopecia. And like a lot of people do. Yeah. But like she looked like G.I. Jane. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like I didn't Yeah. I was like, ah, she looks good like that too, man. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, and then you know, there is the argument too that now that like Will Smith might have just made it worse for her because now it's drawing more attention to it. People are more looking at it now and thinking about it. And well, she's yeah. been open about it. Yeah. So like. Yeah, that's true. That, that is true. I just feel like had he had he not reacted at all and maybe afterwards demanded an apology or something or let Jada speak for herself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let Jada speak for herself and handle it how she wants to handle it too. You know, I agree. You know, he's the husband and you gotta stick up for your wife and I'm, I'm in full support of that, you know. But I just, I don't really know. Like I said, I'm not picking, I'm not, because I don't know how I would react. I don't know how you react in that situation. All I know is both sides embarrassed themselves last night. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to pick a side, but Chris Rock did not embarrass himself. No, I, I feel no, like, well, I, I didn't know. He didn't embarrass himself. So he got in. Oh, because he, he, he got, got hit. He got hit, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, but also, like, I don't know, like, as a comedian, like, I don't know, like, I don't know how if, okay, 
there's a man and his wife in front of me. Should I make fun of them? Should I go at you? That's what comedians do. Though. I know, I know. You know? I don't know. It's just one of those things where, like, man, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just a hard thing to. Yeah, like I said, I can't pick a side because I feel like both are kind of in the right. Both are kind of like one's being defensive of his wife, the other one's just cracking jokes, is doing his job. And it's just like, I think it was just a, um, it just wasn't handled very well on Will Smith's part. I, I'm gonna pick a side. I'm you, picking Chris Rock's and, side. And Chris Rock? Yeah, he's a comedian. Yeah. And that's what they do. And mm -hmm. like, Will, afterward, you can see he was visibly upset. Yeah. And so like I wonder if he's going through like something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To where he over or however your opinion is, yeah. I feel like he overreacted, but mm -hmm. we don't know what he's going through. So <laughs> this doesn't excuse it, but No. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I just at the end, at the end of the day it was just a joke. I don't think you really meant anything bad. I've heard G.I. Jane jokes so many times throughout my life. Like, anytime you see, like, every time, like, there's, like, a woman that wants to go bald or shave her head for whatever reason, you don't think of it as, like, a serious, like, there might be a serious reason behind it. No, you're just like, oh, it's G.I. Jane. It's G.I. Jane. Yeah. Because of that movie, you know? Like, sure. don't really think much about it, you know? Don't really think about how offensive that joke might be to people, but, it's, you know, it is. Yeah. So, but, um... I don't know. I, I I just think it was just really interesting. Uh, it's funny now that every, the whole world's talking. That's like the only thing that people yeah. are talking about of the Oscars. And it, it kind of adds to like cancel culture, which mm -hmm. aggravates the crap out of me. Yeah. Um, like, so you can't joke about anything? You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. Right. I mean, like, and who... Did he even know that she has alopecia? Right. You know what and, I mean? Like, does he even know? Does he even know? And that's the thing. Like, sometimes you got to... And, it's just, and that's what was so confusing. Like, like you said, like, Will Smith even laughed at the joke himself. I think it was, like, once he saw that she was offended. That yeah. I guess he felt like he needed to do something. Like, I don't really, I don't really know. But I wonder if they... If, he could have that moment back <laughs> to redo it or if he I wonder if he regrets it at all now yeah I you know what I'm saying because like he's probably already come out and made a statement who knows and he, I think he did I think he he apologized or he did apologize to I don't know if he apologized to Chris Rock but he did make some sort of an apology whether it's to the show or or when he because he did receive an Oscar yeah, later like on right like, like 10 minutes later <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that so yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Um, uh, man, I was like, there really hasn't been anything interesting about the Oscars in a while. Ratings have been kind of been... I've never heard anything about them for real. They, ratings have been kind of declining. I feel like they kind of needed this now. for people. Now people are going to watch next year to see what crazy stuff is going to happen. Yeah. But, um, no, nothing. That is so... <laughs> security should have grabbed his ass. Yeah. Well, they didn't know what he was going to do. Yeah. It's Will Smith. He's like a nice guy, you know? Right. Like, he could, I like, people maybe thought he was going to like put him in a little head, like, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. You know, but like, no, he hit him. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, yeah. what's next? <laughs> okay, so the next thing is, um, what makes you instantly dislike someone you just met? Uh, if they just say something that I find really off-putting. Oh, yeah? Like, mm -hmm. example. Offensive to, any, like, oh, uh, yeah, if it's, like, something, like, offensive to yeah. women or people of color or people of different sexualities. Yeah. Like, if they say anything or tell a joke or, like, that's not funny. Yeah, if it's meant to, like, act to hurt somebody or if there's, like, some sort of, like, judgment, like, they come off like they're better than everybody and yeah. it's like how they I don't know they're like oh well anytime they put an age to something like you gotta do that you gotta have a nice career by your you gotta be married by your 24 gotta have a nice but before you do that you gotta make sure you're you have a nice career you gotta make sure that yeah. every your car is paid off and you just gotta make so much money before you can do this like judgy people like they're that. saying supposed to bothers me so much yeah yeah but and also i'm so weak because i just said something about cancel culture and mm. then i'm talking about a person who said something like that mm. but there's i think there's a difference mm -hmm. between um 
joking as a comedian mm -hmm. and then someone who really feels that way. Yeah. So yeah, there's the difference. Mm -hmm. Like Krishak doesn't give a crap. Yeah. You know what I mean about like alopecia or like right. just commenting on her hair. Anyway, yeah, someone who is offensive. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Offensive, yeah. Or yeah. judgmental, yeah. And just judgmental. Like, they're trying to come off like they're better than everybody. That they, like, why didn't anybody do it the way I did? Like, because yeah. I'm so much better and smarter. Why are you explaining my ex right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so much better. I'm so much smarter. People just need to understand that this is how you do things. Blah, blah, blah. The way I do it. I'm just right. like, get, yeah. get over yourself. Get yeah. off your high horse and stuff like that. And it always, it always comes to find out that like you know every, like everyone's different like some people had a, a bigger push at the beginning than others some people had more money to start off with some people had you know knew the right people knew the right people that own the right you know, jobs to get and stuff like that everyone's different I, I don't like I'll, I don't like people that talk in like third person and I don't like people that talk for other people yeah like talk for uh, like you know like say like um like my life, if I was talk for her, I'm like, no, Holly, Holly won't like that. She won't want to do that. If I was like talk like that, and like she's you, like right there, or even if she's not here, not there, and I'm talking for her and making decisions for her, or say you're like trying to plan a trip, right? And I'm like, no, Holly won't like going that. I mean, if you know she, but won't. who am I? But let her answer. You know, sure, like maybe sure. she will. Maybe she won't want to go on that trip if it's with you to a certain place, or maybe if it's a maybe I'm not understanding all the things that. Maybe she would want to go Maybe she sure. won't. I don't know. Maybe she. It, it, it's the the point is, I I just don't like when people talk. For yeah, others. you can't make that decision. For don't them. talk for other people. Like don't just say. Don't put your words in other people's mouths, whether they're there or not. I I have a girlfriend. I hate that. Who is in a super manipulative, controlling, abusive relationship? Mm -hmm. She knows it. But anyway. So they were out one night, and yeah. this man came over to shake her boyfriend's hand mm -hmm. because he knew him. And he was going to go shake her hand, and her boyfriend said, "Don't, don't even try. She doesn't have any hands." Like <laughs> stuff like that. And he was. Yeah, it's a, yeah. English is not his first language, yeah. so it was something translated to like, "She doesn't have any hands." Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's just wow. like literally right in front of her is not going to allow her to make that choice. Yeah. No. And she knows she couldn't shake the guy's hand anyway because yeah. it would have made him mad. She right. doesn't want to start a fight. Right, dude. She, yeah, I. That, yeah, that, that, that's the stuff I'm talking about. Yeah, that's yeah. the stuff I hear people talk about, like talk for others all the time, and I'm just like, no, like let them talk, let them have an opinion, like because sometimes, like I'll ask them. I was like, does your uh, would your partner, if I was asked, you know, them this, would they say the exact same thing? And they always back like, no. Well, I don't really know, but I just don't think that they would. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just don't think, but you're going to go ahead and talk for them anyways. That's, yeah. That doesn't make any sense to me. And then, um, because I wouldn't want anyone to talk, to talk for me. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that really would make me so angry. Right. Especially if it was like in front of me, like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> how that. do you know? Yeah, and you now, know? like, yeah, especially like, and then men, they're going to just want to do it out of spite. Oh, so you're saying exactly. you're, you're talking for me. I don't want to go on this trip. Well, I do now. Yes, I do. Well, I do now, <laughs> just to spite you, just because, you know, it's like, who do you think you are talking for me? Yeah. Uh, so I don't like people that that talk for others, talk or just talk in third person. Like, that's probably one of the most, like, like say if I'm like, Ben doesn't ben doesn't want to do this today. You know what, Sean? I would right? come off like a psychopath. <laughs> I loved Brooklyn Nine-Nine so much, but Terry Crews' character almost always talked in third person. Mm. And I was like, God, it makes me not like his character. Yeah. You know? I think that's probably the most narcissistic thing you could say or do. Like, really, like, come off like you're full of yourself. Just mm -hmm. like. Right. Are you outside of yourself looking at yourself? Or something? Yeah. Like, it's why? just so weird. It's so weird. Like, bad guys do that in movies, but they're trying to make you not like them. Yeah. They're trying. They're doing it for a reason because they don't want you to like them. You hear that in, in like in like wrestling and stuff like that. They always talk like they'll talk to a third person, but that's the whole idea is to not like them. Yeah. So anyone that's talking like that in real life, understanding like they're making people not like you. <laughs> like do, they don't understand that though, or yeah. they don't care and they think they're better anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it uh, any kind of narcissistic traits, just off the bat, just will n always like rub me the wrong way. 
I, I okay. think. Um, I'm trying to think People's of... People's vibes. Yeah. Yeah, you can, I feel like you can just almost immediately sense mm -hmm. someone if they have good intentions or not. Yeah. If you have bad intentions, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Right. I would say I'm, pr I'm I am pretty good, I would say, at reading people. It's one of the few things I'm good at. Same. At reading people. <laughs> and then I can usually tell if someone's there to either there to have a good time or just there to start problems. Sure. Just to have a problem. And those are the people I can usually tell right off the bat. They're not here to really get along with anybody. They're just here to kind of just be in the way and just be a problem. You know what I'm not saying? Not on purpose, but yeah. I no, I noticed that more at, at a younger age when I was going like to the bars and stuff like that. You can really pick off those insecure like people yeah. right off the bat. For like sure. they're insecure, they don't they're I guess they don't have confidence in themselves or something like that so like the only thing that they know is just to act aggressive and yeah. act all mean and tough. like oh you're gonna cause drama mean and tough but it's always the guys that act the meanest they're always like the softest they're, they're the, the most insecure yeah because they're the, they're the easiest ones to break you know what i'm saying like and you can say one thing yeah and then and then it's almost wonder i'm like did they grow up with siblings or friends because like i grew up with Bo. we always roasted each other yeah always roasted each other so it's like maybe it's just a lack of that like you know i can't roast you there's no way we can be in any kind of relationship exactly it's like how do you because part of a big part of humor is poking fun at somebody or something yeah, G -I -J. Yeah, nothing's yeah. funny yeah because nothing's funny really like I mean, I don't know, like... There's funny stuff, but yeah. Exactly. I even roast my kid. I've said it before, like, I roast my kid. He roasts yeah. me, like... It's, same, it's the same thing when, like, we laugh if somebody bumped their head on something. Like, they hurt them. So you know, funny. and look, it's embarrassing <laughs> to go to laugh because it's funny. Yeah. And I guarantee if I did the same thing, they're going to laugh, too. Yeah. It worked both ways. Yeah. So, yeah, so people that are just full of themselves and just think they're just better than everybody, judgmental, narcissistic... Right off the bat, yeah, don't, all those don't like them. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next one. What is something you absolutely cannot fall asleep without? A blanket, I guess. Blanket, yeah. I can, but it takes a long time. I'll say the only really, I can sleep in, I mean, I've slept in some really, I've slept on hard floors and random spots, people's houses outside. Yeah. I've fallen asleep in cars and stuff, not comfortable. I've fallen asleep in dorm rooms before, and have you ever been on the floor of a dorm room? They're not. It's it's hard. I mean, it'd just be like sleeping on the floor, on, like here. Yes, it's not com it's carpeted, but it's not comfortable at all. Yeah. Um, I think the only thing is not knowing where my kids are. That would probably not make. Sense. Why wouldn't you know where your kids are? Exactly. But exactly, though, <laughs> but like if I didn't know where, oh, where my kids are, that'd be the only thing because then I'd be too worried about where my kids are. Sure. That's it. Yeah. You know, I just need a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, blanket. I don't know because I actually prefer. I prefer it to be pitch black. Some people like the light on and stuff like that. But I like all the lights off. Same lights off, TV off. Mm -hmm. Quiet. Now I can fall, but I can fall asleep with the TV on. If the TV's on, I can yeah, fall asleep. Sure. In the middle of the night, I might wake up and turn it off, or I might just keep going. Yeah, it messes with your sleep, man. Mm -hmm. I would say falling asleep is usually not the hard thing. It's staying asleep. It's yeah. Sometimes, like for me, like because I could fall asleep no problem, but I'll wake up two hours later and then I can't fall back asleep. That's like that's a real problem right there. Yeah, but I can just, fall back asleep, but like it's like constant waking up, moving, waking up, this, yeah. waking up. That's what. Oh man, mm -hmm. that's the worst. Yeah. Yes, it is the worst. And then me, like, I'm always, me, it's my arms. I wish my arms could detach before, <laughs> before I go to sleep. Yeah. Or whatever. Because it's like, like, laying on my, I have to sleep on my back, but, like, I snore a lot on my back. So I try to go over to my side where I don't snore as much. And I, uh, but I don't know where to put my arms. Like, if it's, like, underneath it, underneath me, I feel like I'm crushing my arm. If I put it up here, I feel like I'm, like, hurting my back and I'm cutting off, like, circulation <laughs> yeah. to my arm and stuff like that and then it's also bad on the neck too because like dude i'll wake up with like my neck is real, real? stiff you yeah. get a pillow man 
Right. But also you share a bed with someone. Mm -hmm. So you can't just like, you know what I <laughs> yeah. mean? Like a lot of times I wake up on my side and I'll have my arm under that pillow. Mm -hmm. And then my arm this way or whatever. And then my cat, I'm like, I don't, I share a bed with animals. Yeah. yeah. But like, <laughs> I like, my favorite thing is waking up in the middle of the night. I feel if my cat's there, I hold his hand. Mm -hmm. And he starts purring and I'm like, <laughs> like right back to sleep, man. Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, body pillows, which are kind of nice. They kind of, sometimes they're nice and sometimes I get tired of it. I agree with that, yeah. Like, they're not like, they're good for the knees. Like, cause they, they say you're supposed to have your knees kind of propped up a little bit. It's better on your lower back. Yeah. And stuff like that. But, uh, so, but then I, I feel like I'm like cuddling with the pillow, you know, it just, it feels weird. Yeah, sometimes I like to use one, sometimes I don't. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes because we both have me and my we both me and my wife both have body pillows and something they're so massive. Yeah. I feel like they take up it's 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 like almost like having two kids in the bed with you. When you guys were out of town and I stayed at your house, I was like, <laughs> I gotta get these pillows out of this bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like they're, there's they're, two of you in the bed with those, man. Yeah, and, and, and they're good and they're nice, but sometimes Sometimes they're in the way. I don't know. It's just really weird. Getting comfortable. Uh, also, we we needed a new mattress for years. So sure. our ma yeah. So that's pro that probably has a lot to do with it. But I don't know. I would say as long as I know where my kids are, and I always do. Yeah. I can fall asleep. Yeah. That's my answer. Yeah. That, <laughs> and that's such a great feeling that we take for granted. Right. Yeah. Okay, all right. So the next one is, um, what is the most beautiful thing in the entire world? So thing. So not a person. So yeah. beautiful thing. So don't feel bad if you don't say like my my you know my kid. Or no, I really kid. think seeing like a truly yeah. happy person. Yeah. Especially a kid like I that makes me. Mm -hmm. I like kind of just like. Uh, Not on purpose. I just am like so happy. It gets so, but, <laughs> so heat. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, my heart. Like that's a really yeah. actual happy feeling there. Well, they do say like smiles are contagious. If yeah. you see someone smile, you're most likely to make you smile. What do they say? Like if you make yourself, they say if you actually make yourself smile for 20 minutes, will actually change your like your mood yeah especially like in the mirror like mm -hmm. look at yourself and yeah, smile yeah that, yeah, yeah. Is, but that's so easier said than done because, for sure because i'm like i'm mad i'm like i'm not smiling I'm smiling no <laughs> most beautiful thing spring right now mm -hmm. like every day you go out and you're like waiting for things to pop up and like right now you've got like the seeds on all the trees coming mm -hmm. out and so like and the flowers on trees yeah it's beautiful i love spring yeah I, I like spring and summer. I'm not an out, I wouldn't call myself an outdoor person or whatever, but I do love the sights and the views yeah. of it. You know in what I'm spring, saying? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to go out and pick up squirrels and pet them or anything. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that in love with nature. You know sure, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not like that, but like, I'll go on, I like to go on, I'll go on hikes and stuff like that and just get a fresh, you know, get, you know, feel the fresh air and stuff like that. And then, Getting all the views and take pictures, take pictures and stuff like that. So yeah, I would say just outside, beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, As, a beautiful day. Yeah, you just like. And sometimes, like in the fall, it'll be such per. It's like somehow it'll be a perfect temperature, almost no humidity. Yeah, and you just take a nice crisp breath, and you're like, this is perfect breathing air right now yeah like and it's so rare that it happens but mm -hmm. like when it does i'm like oh my god it's so perfect the, the beach can be real like all times like even in the morning it can be gorgeous middle of the day gorgeous and then at night boy sometimes like the moon just yeah. shines off the ocean and stuff like that and yeah it's calm and then that's real nice beautiful oh so yeah so it's just outside yeah Nature. Nature. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. All right. Let's move on. So the next one is okay. So this kind of goes back to one of the first things we talked about, and this is uh, what kind of sense of humor do you hate? What is like the worst kind of sense of humor? Would you say? 
And I think we kind of, we maybe kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, but anything that's like, if, you're, if your humor is like to just really like, like make hurt, people. Hurt, hurt people's feelings or show like an intent of hate, like you're really showing hate for a group. Yeah. And that's yeah. your humor. I've never really been a bit of been a huge, even when as a kid, I've never been a fan of dark humor. Like dark humor, like, oh, this is fun seeing someone get shot for this. It's funny. Like, well, do you there's, feel like there's parts of that in like Family Guy, which I'm okay with. It's Family Guy, but then sometimes Family Guy will go too far. And I'm like, okay, that's that's way too dark. Um, would you say your wife has dark humor though? No. 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 Okay, so we're thinking dark, of different. Dark humor, humor is like, and I wish I could, I wish I could tell an example here. Probably shouldn't say it on cam on camera. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. But it's like this the dark like like oh um I don't like what this person says. Let's shoot him in the head. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Uh that's that's Yeah, that's not funny. Don't be or people are like, what's hilarious? Oh, let's blow up this country. Like that's not funny. That's just straight up like hate and you just I don't know. I it's, like some kind of hate. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I just I've never been a fan of like truly like dark humor and like and then like okay good example was like so like Helen Keller Helen Keller jokes some of those I'm like okay I think that's like the line right there <laughs> sure that's the line when you're like really like poking fun at someone's like it was like their disability something they can't control stuff like that I would yeah. say something like that yeah yeah um I don't like perverted jokes yeah especially like like there's like a whole thing for uncle jokes oh yeah which is so gross because it's mm -hmm. rooted in so much truth that's why there's mm -hmm. uncle jokes yeah you know what i mean and some of them i'm like that's not funny yeah most of them mm -hmm. there's so, no all of them like, uncle jokes mm -hmm. like oh some that's what my uncle said to me when he was blah 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 blah, blah. I'm so fortunate I never had an uncle like that. Yeah. I never. I know a lot of people do, and I know that's where it comes from and stuff like that, but none of my uncles, no no one in my family, for real, has ever been like... That you know of. That, yeah, that I've had to do with personally, that yeah. I've met, has ever... That's never been a part of their personality. In fact, it's almost like the opposite. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, like... It just really, it really, it depends on the joke and who's saying it to me. You know what I'm saying? It's just, a lot of depends. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I mean that's a good one. Like perverted jokes, uh, just distasteful jokes, dark humor. Never been, never really been a big fan of. I'm more of like the, I don't want to say dry, but I like the just, the, I like the dry the corn. I like the stuff that you can say out loud in any room and nobody will take offense to it. And if you do. Then I don't. Then there's some, no, there's something else going on that I can't. If you get offended by the jokes that I say, like yeah. which are just dumb, you know, just meant to just be corny, then I don't. I don't know what to tell you. Then right. you're probably getting offended by a lot of other things too. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I like to say jokes that were like I can say it, and it doesn't matter the audience. I can say it, and then it just it's. I'm not gonna regret. Right, gonna, there's nothing for you to have to do. Yeah, yeah. to apologize for. Yeah. I can just say it. that's like I feel like that's the best and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. Usually, I'm so I'm so relaxed though. I'm okay with most things. Like it's just the overly dark stuff, and I guess for you, like the overly per like yeah, yeah, the perverted stuff like that. But mostly, like I I don't want to give the false impression that we're like we're, we're like so stuck up and because we're really not. I would say you and no, me, not are, at all. you and me are pretty relaxed. Yeah, we're hella chill. And we're usually laughing almost over everything. Yeah, I was gonna say one of my okay, one of my favorite things about your wife. My favorite thing is that she's hilarious. Mm -hmm. The second favorite thing is that she is easily amused. Yeah. So she's laughing a lot. You know, like yeah. I always am like, God, I wish I was that easily amused. I'm kind of the same way. Yeah. I'm the same way. I, she has the better reactions than I do because she has to be last. Yeah. Me, I'll laugh. Like sometimes, like I'll be laughing inside, but what, you won't hear a peep from me. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, 
you know, I might, I might do a smirk or a smile or stuff like that, or I'm already thinking of my <laughs> comeback or something that sure. I want to say. Yeah. And a lot of times, like if there's like <laughs> if there's a delay, it's because I'm debating on whether or not I should say it or not. I'm like, I already got, I already got something loaded up. But yeah. I'm like, should I say it though? I don't know. But yeah, I would say the the group that we keep all the friends and stuff. For nothing like the people that we're describing. Yeah, no, not at all. Okay, all right, so let's move on then. Okay, so uh, this is the last one. So what life, what life advice could just go away? What life advice are you, are you tired of hearing? Oh man, I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit, I think. One, one that was really interesting on, on the, in the comment section was uh, never settle, always reach for the stars. A lot of people have an issue with that one because sometimes like perfection is just on because it, it's saying that like so you're saying that nothing's ever good enough and, yeah. and if you have that attitude you might be letting like opportunities pass you by because you think there's always something better right you're letting yourself down mm -hmm. yeah like um, what what and there was like another quote there's like don't let don't let perfection be the enemy of progress like, don't always think like, oh, you, everything's got to be perfect, got to be perfect, got to be perfect. Anything that involves perfection is not realistic. So right. I, I agree <laughs> with both of those. They yeah. Get rid of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, reach for the stars, better yourself as much as you can. But yeah, don't don't ruin your life for it. Right. Yeah. I would say reach for the stars is a good like thing to start with. Like to dream. If like if you're starting for a dream, you can dream whatever you want. And go after whatever you want, but you just gotta like work towards it and stuff like that. Like, I think that's what the intent of the of that saying is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just means like you can just be whatever you want. You can accomplish anything you want. Never like not like the whole never settle thing. That's kind of because if you get a good deal, like yeah, I'm gonna settle on this deal because I'm afraid sure. I might not get another one. If I get a <laughs> once in a lifetime thing, I'm not gonna be like. No, I think I can do. I can do better than that. Yeah. What you hear sometimes, like a lot of artist celebrities, they take bets on themselves, and or like artists and stuff like that. Where like sometimes, like a man, I was an example where like a some the person that designed like the Facebook logo, they were offered like two hundred dollars at the time. They turned it down. Good. And then now they're like making i don't know how much they're getting now or how much they got paid for later but it was a lot more than that for sure so there is like a thing where like you know always kind of like know your worth know your worth and and, and, and yeah so like to take a bet on yourself like, yeah you know yeah so that makes sense and stuff it does um a lot of people don't like that it's all in your head a lot of people don't like that one. That's I wouldn't even consider that advice. I would consider that um, dismissal. Not dismissal. That's the only word I can think of right now, though. Yeah. Like the dismissal of someone. Like mm -hmm. you are not seeing them. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. not it. Kind of like you're just kind of downplaying, you know. Them. Yeah. And their feelings. and Right. But I mean, sometimes like paranoia. Like, no, that's not, guys, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. all in your head. Like, I have to tell myself that sometimes. If I start getting, like, overly agitated or I feel like, oh, my God, this person is doing this and it's on purpose. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why are you taking it personal? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not even about you. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like it has anything to do with you because it most likely does not. I think that you know, there's always a cause and effect. There's always something else going on. When some when someone is being bothered or something, that that might just be what they're focusing on. But there's something always bigger in the background. Yes. That's also, the real issue. So any kind of like someone like say someone's like flying off the handle because of what somebody else said. Clearly, there's something else. That kind of it's been building up. That's been building up, and it could be whatever they're being bullied, something insecurity, something like some, some you know maybe that person 
some people, someone, someone else said something, maybe it's just like, or maybe it's just like a combination of things all kind of coming together yeah. and stuff. And a lot of people, I, I would have to agree like me, like, I don't even know how to process my own, like, my own thoughts and my, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, hard to like, have like coping skills. Yeah, like, I don't even know how to process it because I'm like, well, I mean, I know that was a joke, but that also just kind of hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. And then we're all human and stuff like that. So it's going to happen. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's the constant battle of what should you take serious, what shouldn't you? And then sometimes you, you just tend to hone in on things a little bit more than others. I just feel like there's always something else going on. And it's not that it's in your head. It's just, no, there really is something going on. Like there is yeah. like an issue yeah. that you're dealing with. And then that set you off. That set you off. So yeah, yeah it's never just like a make-believe, like, like, it's not this notion that it's just like, oh, you're just being a crazy person. You're just, you know, you don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I've never liked that. Or like overly emotional or something. Like yeah. when you just hit a breaking point. Mm-hmm. And so, like, like my kid, whenever he loses it and is just crying and crying and this and that, I'm like, okay, like, and they'll say it's for one reason. Mm. I'm like, okay, but what else is going on? Like, yeah. how was your day? Mm. This and that. But, like, something just sets them off. Like, yeah. it's just the last straw. Mm. And they're kids, yeah. and we're supposed to be helping them with coping mechanisms, but it's hard when we can't even do it for ourselves sometimes. Right. You know, yeah. like, so... Yeah, and it's every it's this is this is everybody like really it's it's not just like the quiet kids it's not just there could be somebody that's overly outspoken every single day that laughs and and says says everything on their mind every single day that doesn't mean that they're not saying everything yeah and, they they could still fully be struggling mentally exactly yeah it's just it all it's just like the perception and stuff like that but I mean. That just goes back to like the like the golden rule is just watch how you treat people and watch what you, yeah. and what you what you say to people and because like a lot of times people don't even get offended right away they get offended like ten days later after they process what you said to them yeah yeah <laughs> you know what I'm sure, saying sure so it's just like a it's such a like you know because you might say something and they're like oh they took that well I'm gonna say it again I'm gonna say it later <laughs> I'm gonna keep yeah. saying it because they took it well the first time and that's not how it works like. People or some people are slower than others. Some people need a minute to kind of really, you know, and some people don't want to do what Will Smith did and just overreact right off the bat. No, yeah, I think that's <laughs> not a very common characteristic for well people. Yeah. Yeah, he fully overreacted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think that like the golden rule is is always treat everybody like you should always treat. And then granted, like you want to be fun and you want to joke with people and stuff like that that's okay but also like listen hear what they're saying what they're talking about understand like what their insecurities are what yeah. they're what are, what are they most what bothers them and stuff yeah and just getting to know people just get to know people you know understand them get to know them and and then just be nice really especially to strangers like the people that you don't get a chance to get to know you know yeah just be nice yeah, so all that just to say, just be nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's it all the time. Just be nice. Right. Yeah, okay, all right. So that's all, all we got for this episode. Hope everyone who listened or watched it enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure to follow us on all of our social media uh, channels. We are on Twitter, Facebook. Um, we are on everything. Like We're on Spotify, Apple. So it looks for the podcast on all those streaming services. And uh, yeah, until next time, take care. Bye.